Public and private music educators are coping with the COVID-19 crisis. Teachers and students are now commuting digitally. Belmont Journal volunteer Komiko Akai Whitelaw interviews Gavin Farrell, executive director of the Powers Music School, and Belmont Public Schools elementary orchestra director, Meg Dagan. <laughs> Powers uh, is coping with the coronavirus by moving all of our, as much of our instruction to uh, remote learning as we possibly could. Uh, so all of our private lessons and even many of our group classes are now being taught remotely. With group classes, most of our group classes are small. So teachers are able to have uh, a setup where they have all their students showing up on their screen. The, the difference in, uh, with music is that you can't uh, do things together online. Silly, I jump a breath. Jumping and jumping, jumping and jumping. When I'm silly, I jump around. Our buildings are now closed. We're not able to do any programming on site. There's no way to rehearse an orchestra online, at least not that we're aware of. Uh, it also has meant that all of our community programs that we do off-site have all had to be canceled. Uh, we are trying to replace our community programs in a number of different ways. We are working at ways to connect with older adults too, uh, because that, that's a part of our population that we cannot forget about during this time. So we started the Powers Performance Challenge and what we're asking is that anyone who plays an instrument or sings, whether you're young or old, whether you're um, just starting out or a professional who, be, who have been playing for many years, uh, we're asking folks to upload videos of yourself uh, and we're trying to just bring our community of musicians and music students together. Uh, uh, virtually, and so that we can all share in each other's strength and resilience during this time. Keep your routine going. Um, there is nothing about what's going on now that should stop you from learning and progressing your instrument. Is it making more sense now? Yeah. Right? We recognize rhythm, but we recognize melodies from the rhythm. Uh, whether you're a musician or not a musician, whether you're a singer or not a singer, music can, can help get us through this. Uh, we know from history that some of the greatest pieces of music ever composed have been co composed at time of crisis. I emailed my parents and the students that I work with and I said, we're not going to be doing any assignments or assessments moving forward. Uh, that was a message that was given to us from um, the administration. And instead, we would like to be here as support for our students. You might be wondering, what do I do if I'm at home and my string is like totally loose and my teacher isn't there to help me and I know I'm not supposed to use my pegs. Here's where I would invite an adult in your household to come over and help us. I got on board and I created a YouTube channel. So One of the big concerns for elementary string teachers is um, when we don't have contact with our students, it's, they don't always know how to tune their instrument at home. So, so some of the first videos that I've put up are just like a tutorial on here's what it looks like. Um, you know, mom and dad or another adult at home can help you um, with the complexities there. And for me and some of my colleagues as well, I know Margot Reevy, the other public school orchestra director is also inviting her orchestra students to take this time to do some exploring and, and research on your own, um, kind of exploring music in a way that we don't always have time for in the day-to-day -day grind. So it's kind of a different approach to learning about music, but still equally valuable. And then another, um, another idea that I sent out for my orchestra students in the Belmont School Program is that they could um, send a video of themselves playing their instrument for me. Uh, 
it's actually an amazing time to give one-on-one -on -one feedback when for me in classes of anywhere from 30 children to 80 children at once, I cannot often give such detailed one-on-one -on -one feedback. I think it's one of the times when we can really understand why we have music and art in our life and why we can feel connected to other people through playing and listening to music. I hope that they still feel like they have some ownership over creating art at this time and appreciating art and music, even from their own home. Um, my message for students is just to keep going day by day and to know that we are all in this together, even though we may not be uh, right in the same room. I am thinking of you a lot, my students, and I miss you a lot. And um, stay connected. So please, students, please reach out to your teachers. We are eager to hear from you, and we are eager to, to um, keep our communication uh, going. Good. Oh.